In this video, we'll look at calculating expected value using spreadsheet software. Consider the example. Suppose you work for a life insurance company. A policy for a certain group of individuals costs $500 for the year. If the individual dies, then the policy pays the beneficiary $100,000. The probability that an individual in this group lives through the year is 0 0.99. First, we'll create a probability distribution. In the first column, we'll put the values for the random variable, and in the second column, the probabilities associated with those. Since there are two events, there will be two rows in the table. One event is that the individual lives, and the next is that they die. The probabilities are easily determined. The probability the individual lives is given to be 0.99. The probability that they die would then be 0.01. Since we know that the total of the probabilities must be 1. The random variable in this case is the profit or loss from the point of view of the insurance company. Consider the case where the individual lives. In this case, the insurance company takes the premium of $500 and pays out nothing. Thus, the value of x is a positive 500 profit. In the case when the individual dies, the insurance company must pay out $100,000. But keep in mind, they did receive $500. So $500 subtracting the $100,000 gives us a negative $99,500. To find the expected value, we multiply the value of the random variable with the probability associated with it. Just multiplying across in each row will give us that calculation. It equals, then select the random variable, multiplication, and then the probability. Repeating this for the other row or copying down, we get the third column. The total of the third column is the expected value. The interpretation of this is that, in the long run, the insurance company should expect to lose, since we have a negative expected value that represents a loss for the insurance company, $500 per policy for these individuals. Now the insurance company has control over the premium, so they could of course increase this so that they don't lose money. We could try changing this number to 1,000. This will also change the amount of loss since they will now receive 99,000 in return, and we see that they would break even. And from there, we could raise the insurance premium to, say, 1500 And we see that the loss now becomes a profit of $500. Playing with this premium value, they could adjust that profit, expected value profit, to be whatever they desired so that they can cover the cost of paying their employees. Now you see how expected value is calculated and how changing the values of the random variable affects that. 